535 and a first alert, a silver lining regarding the opioid epidemic. Aisha's at the first alert safety desk and you're just learning what is contributing to the decline of reported overdose deaths, Aisha. Right, Emerson, the downward trend continues, but that is not the full story. Still, a new study found more non-medical personnel are using the opioid overdose antidote we call Narcan. And what that means is people in the community, bystanders, people with little to no medical training could be one factor in the decline of overdose deaths we're seeing. And just recently, I reported on public health vending machines here in Northeast Wisconsin that have free access to Narcan. It requires no real medical training and became available over the counter. Also at drugstores, September of 2023. What we're learning this morning is across the country from June of 2020 to June of 2022, emergency medical services reported naloxone or Narcan was used on 744,000 patients across the country. Researchers found the percentage of people who use Narcan before EMS arrived on scene increased 43% over that time period and the number of first responders who had to use Narcan on someone declined 6%. One of the authors in the study says, unfortunately, there is more work to be done since Narcan was used by a bystander to help save a life. That was only at about 3% of the time. When you look at the grand scheme of things, the author says in a perfect world that should be closer to 100% and they highlight a need to improve education, awareness and increase access to Narcan. The study, by the way, was just published in the journal JAMA Network Open. Steve.